Swore sweet mama. <laughs> Hello gamers, geese and gays. Thank you for stopping by. This is the Outer Wilds. And this is something I've been meaning to play for a long time. It's something that's been on my radar. It's something that I've heard fantastic things about. In fact, what actually prompted me to play this, I saw a TikTok. And it was some meme, and it was such a saying that you're going to have an existential crisis playing this game. I love existential crises. So here we are. Um, I know next to nothing about this game, other than what I've read in the Steam blurb, so I know that there's space exploration, um, and that's pretty much it. So I thought I'd share that with you. I just thought, well, just you and me. You, me, me, you, us. We're going to go through this together, and we're going to see what this game is all about. So, we're going to jump in. Brand new game. And let's see what kind of adventures we can get up to. I'm not awake? Oh, damn, I need to do all my shopping again. Spaceship? Do you think? Uh, oh! This is... Nicer looking than I was expecting. Sorry, devs, I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but... Like... <gasps> oh. 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 Here we go, here's the game. I'm gonna do this for like the next hour. Nom 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 nom. Oh my god. I have actually only in like the past year done actual roasting of a marshmallow over a bonfire. And that makes me sound like really <laughs> really sheltered. I've just never really got around to doing it before. I actually now like marshmallows. Hello, gentlemen. Slate. Hello. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey! No reason to dwell on the past, right? You tell me, buddy. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Bring those here once you've said your goodbyes, or whatever. Okie doke, and where would the observatory be? Requires large coats. Okay. Okie dokie. We're going on an adventure. Oh, damn. This soundtrack. What is... Oh, sorry. I think I just walked past a child. Hello, Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Are you going to get in space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only it's less likely to start a fire. What? Is the ship going to catch fire? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. That counts, right? Can I go for the smaller one? How did it teleport? All right, come on. 
Oh, that's good. All right, maybe it doesn't count now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna. No, no. Oh. Okay, maybe this is more difficult than it looks. Let's be fair. This is not the world's best angle to be doing this from. Swore sweet mama. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. Come on, I am going to do this. I am determined. Oh, that's closer than it looks. I'm get. Hello, gentlemen. That was a bit of a, a bit of a rough landing. Oh, I can do better. This is the one. This is the one. This is this is it. That totally counts. And I will fight you if you say anything else. Thank you, Mika, for your little your little model rocket ship. God, imagine if we had ships like that nowadays. It would be absolute chaos. Hello, Horfy. Hey, oh, Ashlyn. I hear you're leaving us to see adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosan open up a bottle of the good stuff. Now, let's see, what do I want to reply? I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star. Actually, other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Yeah, let's call it that. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Okay, so we're, we're hunter-gatherers, is, is that the case? How to Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Rutile? Rutile? Rut ru rutile. I'm going to call you Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Alright, you disgruntled little geezer. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Half. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Wait, is this actually flying around the planet? No way. If that's the case, then surely I can see it. Oh, that's quite a nice photo. Mountains, or the volcanoes. I am going to find this place. Oh! That's us! Is that the satellite then? Nah, that looks too far away to be a satellite. <gasps> moon? Farting moon? What is that? Or is that oh, is that the campfire from the main menu? Oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm gonna Shh. I'm gonna enjoy this game. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform the ship's launched from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? A big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Marl, you and me are gonna... Don't let, don't let me interrupt you, darling. You just, you keep playing. Oh my god, she actually plays. That's not her playing, that's the soundtrack. Hi, nice. 
Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crate today. If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Instruments? Travellers? What? Oh, sure, I made all of their instruments. You know, let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rebeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. So, Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels just like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music up in space, that'll be one of the space programs or the travellers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay. I like how we're learning about the world, but we're also learning about, you know, the game. Hi, kids! Oh my god, I like your hat. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favourite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Yeah, all right then. Woo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide for these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I love how it closes multiple eyes on the screen. All right. Ooh. Oh, well, I can see you, kiddo. It's not exactly... You know, you're not exactly good at hiding. Oh! I fell. To be fair, I'm not very good at the old jumping. Let's go give that another go. Me and my parkour. Oh, if I knew there was parkour in this, I would have given it a second thought. Yeah. Oh no, my jump. My space bar is hating me. Ah. Oh. There we go. Hey, kiddo. Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget. You're yeah, fine. Both of us, okay? Why is your head doing that? That's nightmare fuel. Right, where's this other kid? I like the music. These guys got a good taste in music. Ah! And you. I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. She's definitely the quiet kid, isn't she? Definitely. Right. Onwards and upwards. Random fishing man. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? I guess we'll all be a little busier without you around, Slender Hand. That big water planet, giant steep. That's where I'd go. One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. Yeah, giant Steep has a current you can't pass through. Sure, okay, but shut up a minute. This is the good part. As though exercising a will of its own, the crater was the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Was there a sap wine involved during Gabbro's campfire story? Come to think of it, don't you have somewhere you should be exploring that isn't here? Yes. Yes, I do. What is a zero-g cave when it's at home? Let's go and have a look. I want a zero G cave. I don't think. No, I have been in a few caves. I tell a lie. I was going to say I don't think I've been in that many caves, but I have. 
securing here. Is that safe? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Jossan said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a s super long time to go away. Uh, there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. It is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard it touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Okay. I get it. Cool. I can get behind that as an idea. Zero G cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got Zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Okay. Say no more. Oh, Gosan, you're missing an eye, buddy. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better here. I'm a natural at this. That's so funny. I seem to recall the first time you stepped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So, listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a last minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you can make your ship's repairs in space. Cool, get to it. Try not to concuss yourself right before your very first launch. You're full of confidence, aren't you? Don't know why, but I was kind of expecting like a Bethesda loading screen. <gasps> Look at the cave! Very pretty. Very dark. Luckily though, I have a flashlight. And barrels. Ah, I'm such a happy camper. That suit doesn't look space worthy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I've got fuel in an O2 meter. Why don't you have a suit on? Hey, nice to just drop down. Uh, guess where I'm going today? Oh no, 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 no way. You want to run off in space, that's your business, but don't take me, you know. Think about it. Bad enough we get this weird cave down here. I'm tough. I'm not taking you. Sorry. I mean, you look pretty sad about it. You're going in there, in the cave? <laughs> Well, no, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Oof. Now I've got hand sweats. I will leave you to it. There are G caves down here. Oh, it's like a little babby planet. Look, you can see the curvature. Is this the core of the planet? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Right, what am I doing? Press to lock on. Match velocity. Oh, okay. That makes things considerably more manageable. Yeah. Am I going to need to... How often am I, am I going to need to repair things in space? Because... I know I am an engineer, but... The freaking duct tape. Okay, that means there's, there's some more around here somewhere. Uh, that bit looks okay... 
Ah, there it is. Let's match velocity. Because it is rotating, which is a really strange feeling. Like everything else is moving around us. More duct tape, baby! That one looks fine, but it sounds like there's something else broken. Aha! Here we go. I'm glad I saw the red glowy lights, otherwise that would have probably taken me a while to find. Cool, training simulation complete. Now, can I get out of here without absolutely just bonking myself off ah! <laughs> like that? Oh, it reached pretty high though. I wasn't expecting this. Hang on, hang on. I, I want to, I want to get, through, I want to see what's through here. What is that? A big old gun. That is a big old gun. What's it a gun for? Guess we'll find out. All right, up, 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 up. Completely lost track of where we were in the world. There we go. Very low gravity on this planet. Weird. Oh, do I have to return the suit? But I like the suit, even if it is literally stitched together. But we'll, you know. We'll leave that for someone else's, uh, someone else to figure out the problem. My god, we came down a long way. It's very impressive how everything in this world is just here for us to interact with. You know, it's very immersive. From like a first impression anyway. Very immersive. Very fun. Thanks, Gosan. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you itching to get off this rock, so go! Get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best to look out there and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Cool. I like your shoes. I like the shoes quite a lot. I want some nice boots. Right, where are we going? Observatories that way. Didn't I come up this way? Oh wait, no, I came up that way. Oh my god. This is uh, good omens of things to come if I can't even remember my way around a little hamlet. Ooh. Pretty. That's less pretty. Lodge Towers that way. Hello, lizard. Hal, hi, Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Aww. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight, too. I am so excited, it's making me nauseous. Please don't. Just think, you'll be able to translate my any nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going in space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Ah, oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So, what's the dirt? See any... Do you here to see the new Nomai statue? Uh, I'm... Yes. You haven't heard? Gabro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Yeah, but I like museums, Hal. 
This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Though there are facts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Antler jewellery? Oh! I want antler jewellery. That's dope. That's real cool. I want one. Oh my god, it's a full museum. I freaking love museums. Museums are dope. Now, do I go left to right or right to left? Well, the fact that's a new exhibit. Hmm. Go left to right. Oh my god, look at... This thing is so pretty. The radio tower here on the Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. And to this day, still has the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Another map? Can I access the map? I'm pressing buttons that are usually... Nope. Got no map. Not yet. Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed amongst us realise there must be some kind of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. We've got quantum physics going on? Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree this effect is extremely creepy. It's not. So, rock. That's gonna be this. Why are you showing me this? That means I'm gonna have to. Mm, I don't like this. Anyway, stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Okay. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layer to expand. The star has become a red giant. The core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a violent event called supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. What is that? That creature. I hope I don't run into any of those. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with a minimal atmosphere. Screw that. Are they looking... Are they like know my ruins that they were talking about? I'm guessing so. What in darnation? Uh. Oh, that is... That is funky. Oh, I like that. Little probe, little, little probey thing. I appreciate I could sit and read all of these, but for brevity's sake, I'm just gonna... Gonna keep on... Keep on keeping oning. Right, let's go to the observatory. Or is... Oh wait, no, that is the observatory. There's an upstairs. Let's go get these launch codes. Before we blast off in space. Oh, it's the observatory. No way! What are you on about? No way! Oh my god, what's that all the way over there? Do you see that red thing? Is that that probe that they were on about? 
not appear to lock on to it. I'm guessing that's that probe. Oh my god, look at it. So many. This is where that anglerfish thing's from, and that looks awful. We're going there in a hurry. Hornfells! There you are, just finished pre flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronauts off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Al should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I don't have a plan. Um, gonna learn more about the Nomai. I might guess as much, no sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We've no idea if they originated here or travelled here or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm not ready to die in space. Excellent, you'll all be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before site makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Cool. Da 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 did it da did. Cool, that's the launch codes. Right. I'm gonna call it there for today though, guys. I'm enjoying the vibe of this. I hope you guys are too. There's there's a feeling, there's a What's the word? It's immersive. I totally didn't just spend five minutes trying to think of that. This game is genuinely so immersive. It feels like we are here. I feel involved in all this. And just seeing that map there has blown me away. We've got a whole solar system that is just existing and reacting. And we get to go and explore it. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching though. As always, I have been Sirx, you guys have been incredible, and I'll catch you all later in the next episode.